Hello everyone, my name is Legend Ronnie and this game is Rise of Civilization. This video is going to be about the update note. So they actually posted an update note on their Facebook page and they are talking about Kingdom vs Kingdom. They are offering us a sneak peek about Kingdom vs Kingdom and they are explaining us what is going to happen in the next update. This video is going to be mainly about the update sneak peek about kingdom versus kingdom and i'm gonna offer you a small sneak peek about my next video because i have been working on on a project you know i've done some of some of it already and let's get started too much talking let's actually do something more interesting right so update 1.0.12 optimization update so they are planning on 4th of December to take down the server at 2.30 UTC for about 2.5 hours. More ways to get Starlight Sculpture, so this is the first, thing, uh, the first thing. Event rewards will now contain more Starlight Sculptures, well that is very great. Minamoto and Hannibal, you can no longer use their sculptures as materials by accident. I did use Minamoto. Um, being honest at the beginning of the game i'm not sure five of ten of minamoto sculptures i did use them as materials <laughs> so yeah that's it's a good thing new features to improve gameplay new city layout sharing feature allow governors to show off their cities hmm. new teleport hints graphics makes teleporting easier to understand well they already did something about this now they are doing a little bit more that means that people are still struggling with the teleport, so I suppose that that is a good thing for, for some of uh, them. New online status page for Alliance members. Well, this is going to show you who is online rather than going through all the ranks, so it's not bad. Because, you know, right now, if you want to see who is actually online, because they've done uh, this up on the last update, you have to go to all the ranks, to all the people to see who is actually online, where well, now they're just going to pop them on the top who is online so that is great optimized kingdom view makes it easier for governors to return to their city so when you're zooming out when you're on the satellite view i think that's what they are meaning by this optimized kingdom view they will make it easier for you to get back into your city so there is just small things but now here comes the vip shop added items that can be purchased with resources as well as high experience starlight higher experience starlight sculptures now that is great that sounds great on the paper so what we are reading here they are actually working for the free to play players guys so you might want to work on your gatherers you might get them higher like level 27 you know at level 27 the gatherers can get the six percent extra resources when they finish gathering vip shop purchase limits will be reset following the update detail changes included what you need to get from this that means that when this update is going to come live the shop is going to reset you know that the updates they are usually doing them either monday night tuesday night or something like that the shop will all be already be reset because it resets sunday so that means you if you want to buy something from the shop you should buy it then because tuesday or wednesday when this update is going to hit uh, the shop is going to reset again so you have two resets in a week so bear in mind this on 4th of december which is gonna be Tuesday more precisely yes that's correct so you're you'll be able to buy two times the shop so this is very important VIP 2 can use resources to purchase basic action points recoveries and action points recoveries well that is pretty sick I have to say it because everyone was complaining about action points so now free to play if they are actually active they can make a change into the events they, they can acquire and save up a lot of action points and just throw them all in into one event vip3 can use resources to purchase five minute speed ups well it's something 
well, five minutes is not like wow, but still, you spend resources to buy speed up, so thumbs up to that. VIP 4 can use resources to purchase brand new Starlight Sculptures. How about that? So, they are helping the free to play players to get better into the game to try to compete. So, that is a good thing. And you are noticing that it's VIP 2, 3, 4, then we have VIP 5. So, this is the lower VIP levels which you guys can reach without spending. VIP 5 can use resources to purchase dazzling starlight sculptures wow that is pretty sick so again sculptures starlight sculptures stars stars vip 8 brand new starlight sculptures replaced with bundle of brand new starlight sculptures vip 11 dazzling starlight sculptures replaced with bundle of dazzling starlight sculptures so that's for vip 8 and 11 and I suppose those are gems because they did not mention about resources so up to VIP 5 those are with resources and then they are obviously gems VIP 8 and 11 the lost temple difficulty increase if you want to know which actually stars are these that they are mentioning over here you can check them into the game i don't have the game open right now so i do apologize about that that was a slightly mistake from me should I have the game open to mention which are exactly are they epic or that legendary but you can check that into the game by following the names so yeah i do apologize for for not doing that particular thing lost temple difficulty increase well they can increase the difficulty people are already taking it down pretty easy most of the kingdoms already done it so that's not gonna be much of an update for many kingdoms but yeah difficulty increase why not <laughs> adjustments have been made to the difficulty and competition requirements of various kingdom chronicles chapter detailed changes will be posted soon all right kingdom chronicles i think that's the monument some events will now begin reset at 0200 utc rather than 00 utc now why would they do that i have no freaking idea chest rewards probability are now displayed in the tavern how about that well if if we, we are going to see that we have one percent chance to get a legendary sculpture is not really gonna warm our heart that much and that we are going to see that uh, probably who knows what blue commander has a freaking 10 percent chance to drop that's not gonna warm our heart at all <laughs> it's gonna make us cry kingdom versus kingdom now probably the subject that most of you have been awaiting by watching this video now what can we take from this picture is that particular shield this is a proper sneak peek the reason i'm saying that particular uh, shield is because you know that the current shield in the game it's somehow white and it's like even all all the way it doesn't have those particular shapes on it and it's not yellow what can this be can this be a future alliance skill to be confirmed we don't know yet governors everywhere have been asking when we will add kingdom versus kingdom gameplay we are currently working hard to bring this future online as soon as possible but there is a lot of new content that must be developed and tested first right now i, I don't want to cut you off i don't want to lose your hope but i just want to be realistic all right so a lot of new content that must be developed so that means they're not even testing that new content you understand what i'm trying to say you are you're following they are writing it over there so it means they still need to code it still need to create it and then test it sneak peeks of what we have in the works will be posted on our official facebook page in the near future so make sure to check often to get the latest information so that is correct 
they have sneak peeks they have a few pictures they have a few ideas of what they are already uh, working on they're trying to keep you guys updated with everything but it's not gonna be nowhere near close so as i mentioned i don't want to be the bringer of bad news but i just want to be realistic i just want to tell you guys the fact how it is you know what i mean because sneak peeks of what we have in works will be posted on our official facebook page i would say that over january so next year from january going forward we can expect something coming about kingdom versus kingdom it's december already uh, Christmas, New Year, then next year there is the Chinese New Year and they have a lot of holidays as well. So there is a lot coming up and a lot to put in balance before we can expect a Kingdom vs Kingdom update. So this is the reality as I said, as hard as it is, but yeah, I mean this is just my thoughts, you know, right. So that is about Kingdom vs Kingdom that we have to we have to say about. As I mentioned, this is what I'm trying to highlight, and this is what you should think as deep as possible. There is a lot of new content that must be developed and tested first. This is what you should read first when when you see this. This is what you should think about it because they haven't even developed this content. I'm not specifically saying the Kingdom versus Kingdom content, but probably a lot of content that is going to be added for Kingdom versus Kingdom. So they haven't even developed it. This is what you need to think about first before <clears throat> you go any further. Now, obviously, I said the sneak peek about my future video. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you the sneak peek it's gonna be quick but anyway you can pause and see it so i, I don't really have to be quick i don't want to talk about it because uh, obviously i'm gonna do a proper video about it and uh, here it is obviously my last five legendary uh, commanders i'm doing their pictures i hope it's, i haven't done any mistakes as i said it's a sneak peek so I, i'm allowed to do mistakes on this King of Mobility, that is correct. This is our boy Double C, which you see him in the background. This is his King of Mobility talent tree, but I will do a proper video about it. And uh, just to show you one more, very, very interesting. I'm gonna talk about them there. I don't wanna talk about them now. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna pop up just one more, very, very interesting about Frederick which I developed as well so this is another one very very interesting about Frederick which I developed and uh, I worked on I again I hope that everything is, is all right the calculation and everything it took me quite a lot of time to think about uh, these two as again as I said it's, it's a sneak peek so I'm gonna talk about then when the actual video is going to happen uh, probably Saturday when I have time to do it. So this is Ma Maximum March Aggressive Talent Tree from Frederick. So if you want to get the Maximum March bid from your Frederick and have an aggressive build on him, this is the talent tree for it. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I will talk about it when the time is going to be to talk about that. And... Uh, yeah so that's about it guys sneak peek about the update sneak peek about my future project and uh, i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys found this very very interesting and i'll see you guys on the next video this is legend Ronnie signing out peace out yo take care and be safe out there